Hey guys, Ross here from Rip Superchargers. Today is all about SRT. Behind me is our 2014 SRT that we've used for prototyping and been driving for a year. That is a daily driver and it's an awesome machine to drive. So, throughout the course of a year since we've launched this system, we've heard our clients and they've made some, well, they made some announcements of things they'd like to see different. And we like to think of ourselves as progressive. So one of their main concerns was blow off valve sound. So starting right up here, this is the original blow off valve that we supplied with our system. It was made by Vortec, it was their base valve. It was a little bit whistly, it was a little bit loud. We voiced our concern over at Vortec and uh, they did make a change. They responded with a change. Their change uh, was this valve right here, which uses the main components of the race valve, which we like. It's very tunable, you know, naturally has a vacuum port, but the sound has changed quite a bit. It's almost dead silent. So this is one of the great changes that they've made. One of the second changes we've made is actually gone to larger piping. The original kit came with two and three quarter inch piping, which fit neatly around the radiator. Uh, we were able to sneak in three inch piping, both on the uh, inlet side of the intercooler and the outlet side of the intercooler. Once you can move that much more volume, we actually needed to re uh, readdress our intercooler. This was the original intercooler that came with our system. It's rather on the conservative side, as it was a rather conservative kit. But uh, since a lot of our clients want to take it to the next level, we needed to come out with some components that can handle that. That's where this design comes in. Yeah. It's quite a bit bigger. So basically, as you can see, it dwarfs the old intercooler. It's much larger. It's three inch in diameter. It's much, much taller and much, much wider, and also has three inch inlets and outlets. This is a custom made intercooler, it's not an off the shelf type intercooler, and it was designed specifically for us. It's actually a 13,000 CFM intercooler. This intercooler can handle much more power, much more volume, and has much more surface area to cool. So, for the guys who are taking those engine builds to the next level and are looking for much more power, this is where you'd go. Uh, with that much more volume of air going through and through the pipes and through the intercooler, we needed a much larger uh, air filter. k and responded, and uh, once we reached out to them, they came up with this design. This will flow enough air to make uh, those horsepower numbers you guys are looking for, and has the quality, naturally, of filtration that we're looking for as well. Um, with that came some updates to the tuning. Um, some of you had some concerns with the patterns in, in, in the way the thing was writing to the vehicle and so on. Well, whatever it is, we discussed it with the guys over at Diablo. We took a good hard look at our calibration. We took a good hard look at, at uh, uh, all, all programming sequences in terms of time, how much it took to run, and they responded. <clears throat> New Intunes, which are called RM1000s, those are RIP specific tools, are programmed to write the vehicle cleaner and cleaner and, and, and as well as quicker. So new calibrations are available in here to support all that as well. This system, when it's all together, is actually called the Gen 2 system. So uh, the SRT has now gone to a second generation of, of, of kit. Uh, um, like always, we like to demonstrate our stuff. So behind me is our, is our, is our tester. We've been driving it around daily for the year. And uh, it has all these new components that which, which we prototyped on this vehicle. I'm not quite certain if you can see it in this shot, but you can see that the grill is full of, full of an intercooler. Um, before, when this, uh, when we had the smaller intercooler, we had the first gen intercooler, uh, the intercooler stopped right about here on these whole two grill intakes, but now it fills all the way up to the end, so the end tanks are actually in there. There is no cutting on this system whatsoever. That is a one, one point you definitely want to touch here. We're able to fit all these huge components, three inch piping, three inch uh, inlets and outlets, much larger intercooler which takes up this entire surface area here uh, without actually having to cut anything. You do have to move one or two components but it's just trivial in terms of time and, uh, and stuff. You do have to relocate the horns which are here stock. All the components are in this vehicle. Uh, this vehicle does not have a set of pistons in it. It is a, it is a stock engine in here, stock transmission. So I'm going to run it up and show you what it could do, okay? I'm going to grab that fan real quick.
sound of metal. There you go. So, you guys want to pan over here real quick? I'll show you what we got going on. It's pretty nice. 604.7 horsepower right on the dot. You can see it's very consistent. I started this one a little bit later in the past, but you can see here that the torque, if you, you know, would come on at 2,500, I, I hit this one at 3,000. So you can see that the power is real, real clean right across. It looks like we're making a good 550, just over there, 550 pounds of torque as well, which is real solid across it. But this horsepower just is stellar. This is from about as low as I can start to, uh, to redline. Well, that's the new uh, Gen 2 system. It's actually a really nice kit, drives fantastic. Um, it's a pussycat around town, but it's a monster on the highway, so enjoy.